Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Tuesday Sports page. We are talking high school football. The Wise Boom has finished the 2019 season undefeated and capped it off, defeating Northwest in the state for a title game, 35-14. to I am pleased to be joined here in studio by Pumas head coach DeLon Parrish and members of his team. Guys, thank you for being here today. Uh, state champions, congratulations. <laughs> now, you. Coach, I'm going to start with you. Uh, all the preparations that went into this season uh, all came together to win the state title. What was that like for you? And talk about winning that championship. <laughs> it was extremely <clears throat> exciting, rewarding, gratifying. Um, I don't think there's enough words that can describe it. It doesn't matter how many times you win it. You always ecstatic that it happened. You know, you set a goal in the beginning of the year. Um, and to be able to achieve that, these young men have been with me in my program for four years. And um, to share the excitement with them, the community, and everybody to support our football team and our school. Um, it's just an amazing feeling. So you guys go undefeated this year. Maryland changed the whole way they do the scheduling and everything like that. And you guys still came out on top. You haven't lost a county game in five years. Just talk about the sheer dominance over everyone here in Prince George's County and the state. Well, <clears throat> it takes a lot of good players. Um, Coaching staff, uh, commitment to excellence, as they say. Um, just the young men believing in what you do, uh, understand the concepts and grasp what we're trying to get accomplished each individual game. I don't think at any point we said that um, this is a goal to win uh, or go undefeated. It was always the goal is to win a state title. And it's just something that happened along the way. And now it's something that everybody knows and they're talking about that hasn't been done. So you talk about some of your players, and we're here to have a couple, happy to have a couple here. Uh, your team captain's here with you on set, and we're we'll start with you, Rashard Jackson. Uh, talk about your senior year. You go out on top. You win a state title. Uh, what was that like for you as a player actually getting it done on the field? Oh, man. Coming back my senior year was the best feeling, especially working with these great guys, great teammates. Um, coming back from the year from an ACL injury last year, coming back, showing my dominance, showing I still had what I had. And it's just, you know, I don't know, I can't explain it. Just winning the championship is just so ecstatic. Like when we won it, at first it didn't really hit me, but then after I'm like, whoa, we really just did this. Like, it's like the best accomplishment you could ever get. And Cameron, you know, you also a team captain, one of the leaders on this squad. Um, what was it like for you to, to go out there and get that trophy and help lead this team to the fourth state title in five years? It feels great. I mean, last year, uh, losing to Quince Orchard woke us up that we could be beat. And this year, taking it on, we just, like we could be beat. It's, so we just go on the field and do execute our game plan and win. And that was going to be my next question. Everyone expected you guys to play Quince Orchard, but they didn't make it. But how did you guys use that loss in the semifinals last year, it's motivation during the off season and into this season uh, to, to accomplish your goals? For me and for my coaching staff, we used that game to propel us to get better. Um, we looked at the mistakes we made. Um, we wanted to correct those. We wanted to add some new wrinkles. We, we basically went into this season preparing to face them again. We knew the young men that we had coming back, the senior leadership, uh, mass that we have with our young talent that we could get back to the state title. Um, just focus, be selfless, uh, just play for one another, and we would get back. So it was our job to make sure if we faced Quince Orchard again that we would have everything in hand to defeat them. But we kept the concept of one game at a time. Whoever we're facing in front of us, that's who we're going to deal with. On a side note, the coaches was like, okay, if it happens to be Quince Orchard, then we know where we make mistakes. But if not, then it's still the kids or the young men wouldn't know in our model of preparing for the team in front of us, that's who he's going to face. No, I'm out there and I come down and I watch you guys practice and I watch you guys on the field. And you guys are one of the most disciplined teams I've ever seen at any level of football. What goes into that as a captain, as a coach, you know, captains, to keep the team so disciplined and grounded, knowing how successful you've been, but you still are so grounded when you come onto the field to warm up, to, to warm up, get, get ready to go and go play. Oh, man, that just comes from having one of the best coaches out here. <laughs> and um, just going to practice, you know, lifting your brothers up, 
you know, making sure everybody doing what they're supposed to be doing, paying attention, making sure everybody getting everything done. Um, with, uh... Well, I mean, let me tell you this. And both of you, what was your favorite moment of your senior seasons? I'll start with you. We were just talking. It's a favorite moment of your senior year. Favorite moment? Oh, man. State championship. I got to say state championship. <laughs> just getting there, realizing what we have to do, how we're going to do it. It's just unreal. And Cameron, what was yours? I mean, just going, going on top again, being number one, winning that state championship. And coach, how about you? To me, <clears throat> I would say when we get back to the school, um, all the parents typically out there, they're beeping the horns, the fans that supported you when you're on the road and you're going out to uh, defend your school, all of those people's in the parking lot. I, I relish that moment, getting back to Wise High School and hearing all the noise, and it's like we did it. You know, this is the end, and we back where we started, right at our high school. It has to be the best feeling. So back to you guys, the players. Now, both seniors, obviously, coming from one of the most successful programs in the state of Maryland. What's next for you guys? Where are you guys going to go to school? Who's looking at you? And I'll start with you, Cameron, because I know you already have a, a spot where you know where you're going. I'm a college commit at Delaware State University. I'm going to play football, full ride scholarship. And coming from where you come, how much easier do you think it will be to make that transition coming from Wise to go play in college? It's going to be easy having a great coach preparing you for college and all that. And, and Rashard, what about you? And you don't have to be specific, but if you have some t teams you're looking at, let me know. Uh, my focus right now is just to uh, stay grounded, you know, work out, keep my body in shape, and just see where my coach is going to take me. And coach, year in and year out, you always are putting guys into colleges. I come down for the signing days. What's that like for you to see your young players go off to play at the next level? It's exciting um, when you try to, you, in your mind, you set goals, how many young men you're going to put certain places or where they're going to go. But it's also sad because you're losing. You're losing your son or you're losing a young man that you watch grow um, from the time they're 14 years old, 14 to 18, 17 years old. You're thinking about all the different things that um, the emotions, the elations, um, just things you experience together with those young men. People don't understand how much we give as coaches and how much they give of themselves and sacrifice themselves. They're student athletes. So a lot of times when they friends home, um, enjoying themselves, they're with us. And then they have to go home and do their homework. Um, so with that being said, it, it, it's gratifying to see that some of their goals that they set for in their life is, is about to begin. Um, but you're also sad because you know someone's moving out moving out of the nest to move on. So you hope that where they go, somebody else have their back and that they're going to grow to be better individuals than with, when they left me. Well, I want to thank you guys for being on set here today. The 2019 State 4A champion, Wise Pumas, back to you guys up on the news desk.